Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of Laws of Exponents. This is standard A.11b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 10 of the 2016 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got this huge expression here, and I'm going to split it up into the different bases. Okay, so we've got our just our basic coefficients here, 14 over 8, a to the 4 over a to the negative 2. The reason we need to do this is we can only simplify if they have the same base. That base is that big number, or in this case, that big variable underneath here. So if we have a like a C on top and a B underneath, different bases can't do anything with that. So let's deal with each of these individually. Then we're going to smash them all together into one big expression. So we can simplify this pretty simply, right? This 14 over 8, both of those we're just going to divide by 2, right? And so that's going to end up being 7 over 4, okay? So I'm going to just kind of keep a, a running tally down here, 7 fourths. Now, what do we do here? Well, we've got this quotient of powers that we're going to need to bring back from either our memories or our reference materials. What this means is if you have two exponents with the same base, a m over a to the n, it's the same as just subtracting the two. Okay? So what what does this mean here? Well, we could take our since it's the same base, we're going to take that base, and it's 4 minus, and then I've got a negative 2. So it's a 4 minus negative 2. Because really, this a to the negative 2 is going to end up being a fraction. When you have a negative exponent, such as a to the negative n, it's the same as 1 over a to the n. So it's the reciprocal. So what ends up happening is this a to the negative 2 right, becomes 1 over a squared, which means you don't really want a fraction in a fraction. You end up flipping this up here, and it becomes a f to the fourth times a squared. And that comes back to another thing that we need to keep in mind, the product of powers. So there's all kinds of rules we need to keep in mind, but it's all in the reference material. When you have two exponents with the same base that are multiplied by each other, you end up just adding the two exponents, m plus n. So that'd be a to the fourth uh, plus a squared, which is going to equal a to the sixth, which, look, it's the exact same as what we just did right here. Those two negatives make a positive. So either way you do it, you're going to end up with a to the sixth. Okay, So that's our a. This b to the sixth over b to the third, that's pretty straightforward, that's your quotient of powers, okay? So that's going to be, and I'll write that down here, b, and then your, just your powers, 6 minus 3, since it's quotient of powers, so that's going to end up being b to the third. Now the c is a little bit different, okay? So take a look at this. It's quotient of powers, so it's c to the negative 10 minus negative 5. Now those two negatives make a positive, so it ends up being negative 10 plus 5, or c to the negative 5, okay? Which is going to end up being 1 over c to the 5th. So what we could do here is we can say c to the negative 5, because really what ends up happening is this is 1 over c to the 10th, and then this is 1 over c to the 5th. Since they're both fractions, they end up flipping spots, and it ends up being c to the 5th over c to the tenth, and that's why we end up with one over c to the fifth or c to the negative five. So how do we turn this into an expression? Well, let's write it seven fourths, a to the sixth, this is going to end up on top, b to the third is going to end up on top, c to the negative fifth means it's going to end up on the bottom since we need the reciprocal, and so that is going to be our answer. That's what this is. It's the same thing if we want to make it a little bit uh, less simple, our answer here is H.